Table 3 gives the annual sales in millions of dollars of a product from 1998 to 2006. What was the average rate of change of annual sales for letter A between 2001 and 2002? And then B, between 2001 and 2004. All right, so let's take a look at uh, letter A first. Now, the first thing is before we, uh, you know, even start to calculate anything, we have to understand what does it mean or what is the average rate of change, right? So the average rate of change, and I have a little, you know, definition down here, I guess, not even a definition, but it's basically um, what another way to interpret it. It's that it, the average the average rate of change is simply the slope of a straight line that connects two points of a function. Now notice here that they are giving us two x values basically. How do I know those were x values? Well, I'm looking at the variables. I have years and I have sales. What's the independent variable? Right? You know almost in every case time is the independent variable. Years are a representation of time. And the independent variable is x. And that means that the other guy will be y. So notice that they gave me two x values. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to find those two on the graph. Well, not on the graph, I'm on the table, right? I mean, I could graph this too. I really should have said table there. You might say, where the, where's the graph? I don't know. It's not here. So here's 2001, and here's the y value of that x coordinate, right? Those are the sales, $243 million. And then 2002, they had sales of $249 million. All right. So now what I realize is that I can represent both of these uh, both of these numbers as kind of coordinates, right? I could say that um, this represents a point on a graph, right? And the x value is 2001, comma, comma, 243 million, all right? And the other point was the x value was 2002, and the y value was 249 million, okay? Now, to find the average rate of change between these two points, all I have to simply do is calculate the slope, right? And you have to remember the slope formula. The slope formula is the slope, which is represented as uh, the symbol m, is basically the change in y divided by the change in x. In other words, it's simply y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? You have, this is one xy, of these are coordinates of one point and these are the coordinates of another point. So let me call this x1 comma y1, right? So we'll just, and then this will be x2, x2 comma y2. All right, put a little circle around them. So now, all we have to simply do is calculate this, right? So now what's y2? Well, it looks like it's 249, right, as I labeled it. So this is 200, and actually, you know what? I'm going to run out of a little bit of space. Let me just move this on over slightly, and we're going to do it over here, okay? The y2 value is going to be 249 minus then the y1 value, which was 243. And that's all going to be divided now by the x2 value, which is 2002, minus, minus 2001 which is the x1 value. All right, let's simplify this. What's the subtraction here? Well, it looks like it works out to six. What's the subtraction down here? It looks like it works out to one. So guess what? The average rate of change is six. Now six what? Right, six what? Well, remember the units here. What were the units of the y value? Right, that was on the top here. What are the units? Millions of dollars, right? So this represents six million dollars. I'll put a little dollar sign there. And there's only one L there for abbreviating million. And then what was the bottom uh, variable representing, right? The bottom was representing years. So this is years. So in other words, right, the slope here, the average rate of change was six million dollars per year. Okay, so the units here of this slope should be Six, so the average rate of change in which is the slope would be which would be six million dollars per year. All right, and that takes care of that. Let's do now letter B. Letter B is just as simple, so let's run through this. Okay, now we got to do it between 2001. Let me change the color here actually. We got to do it now between 2001 and 2004. So we have two x values again 2001, 2004. Also find their corresponding y values. Bada bing, bada boom. 
All right, now let's write down the va the coordinates to make it easy on ourselves. Let's write this one first. It doesn't really matter what you write first. We're going to arrive at the same answer. But 2001, 243. And then we have this of 2004, 249. Okay? So slope, again, is equal to change in y over change in x. The slope is then we can break it down to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now I'm going to plug in the new values, right? Let's call this x1. Sorry. Let's call this x1 comma y1. And let's call this x2 comma y2. All right. So y2, again, I'm just using the formula here. My y2 value is 249 minus my y1 value, which was 243, divided then by my x2 value, which was 2004, minus my x1 value, which was 2001. Simply do our subtraction now. So we realize we get 6 over. This comes out to 3. So when I simplify it, right, it comes out to 2. To what? Again, same units, $2 million per year. And this is the average rate of change, all right, for that interval from 2001 to 2004. So that's it, guys. Fairly straightforward, all right? And thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. If we were able to help you out at all in this video, give us a hand, too. That would be awesome. Uh, tell your friends. That would be the best way. And uh, subscribe, too, if you can. Hit that like button, too, or smash that like button like I've been hearing. Smash it. Just smash it. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.